I could put the second Storm Chaser in the deck to make sure we get Stormbringer every game. The problem is obvious, right? The moment we draw two Stormbringers or, or the Storm... The moment we draw two Storm Chasers or the... um, Let's put that back. Let's try to get Totem Golem or Eel. Those are the two payoff uh, in the early game cards for being Gen. We have turned our curse into our strength. This is better versus Wandering. This is better versus Snipe. If he plays Snipe here, this counters Snipe a little bit. Um, explosive. I kind of wanted to play this one so I could like curve better with Totems, but this plays around more secrets. Alright, I mean, there's some reason to trade to play around Unleash the Hounds, but whatever. Fuck it. We got Ninja versus Sea Giants. Ninja leads to better Sea Giants, right? If this gets like two damage, though, it's pretty good. Yeah, we're probably gonna do this, right? It's just. He kind of showed me he didn't have Unleash the Hounds. Oh, we give the uh, the giant rush here? Or do we just give this rush, right? Let's get rid of two two guys. Um, they all die to explosive anyway. This way we have more room on the board theoretically for that. I mean, my sides. Not the worst hex because we get to hero power. Um, he's not playing minions. I guess we'll just burn one of these. Maybe I save it, because I can just use the body, right? Hmm. Yeah. If he gets another Huffer, it's kind of annoying, actually. Hmm. Kind of regretting my decision now. To my side. All right, I can test for snipe with, I guess, this one. It'll be explosive. It'll be freezing. What to do? It could be bear again. It could be bear again. If it's explosive, I just fucked up. So maybe we just chill, get the Stormbringer here. The Mono Spell Hunter deck does have a lot of things to do. Ooh. That sucks. We do get to do this, I guess. Hmm. Rexar. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm, I'm like forced into this, right? I could be greedy and try to wait one more turn. I really want this to end the game. I don't want to pussyfoot around and get like a 1-1-1 one, one, one in like a millhouse or something. I want to get like Tyrion and Rag and King Crush and all that garbage. 
That's a good side, I think. Now, obviously, something really bad could happen. He gets dread. The dread guy. All right, that does not have. Uh... No! What? The fun ruiner. We had the dream there. We had the Stormbringer next turn Kragwa to get it back in case things somehow went wrong. That is the dream. For Doomhammer. All right, I mean, that's a curve. We have a turn one. No, not turn one golem. We have turn one here power, turn two golem, turn three golem. And we could coin this out if we wanted to. This thing gets kind of lost in the, uh, the defiles and the hellfires and stuff. So we probably want this late, late game. Maybe try to get lethal with it. I could keep it just not to draw the the only spell in my deck that this gets, right? There's some reason not to mulligan anything that's not. We have turned our curse into our strength. I mean, I can't coin one out and then hear power and then it puts him under more pressure technically. I don't think because he's Gen, we actually have less reason to get him low than than normal, right? We might not ever want to hit him, right? Because if we hit him, all we do is give him Molten Giant. You fight like a what the fuck? Silent Knight, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not gonna hit him. Fuck it. We're just not gonna let him get molten that early. I guess there were other annoying threes. That that one's just kind of annoying though. It's almost like a four two. He's gonna think I got bloodlust, right? No, but I, I'm again. I can't have bloodlust, right? So this is weird. Do we do this for three? I don't think so, right? You can play them both. There's some reason to like try to get. Um, All right, we can save this for the Stormbringer. I think we'll just play two of these guys. Kind of likely to get defiled here, huh? This deck could have Twisting, which would be a counter to that. Ooh, he gets back his Spellstone? That's kind of naughty. I'm gonna have too many cards here. <laughs> I could play this, but it's almost better in my hand for this, right? But we got that before we mill it. Alright, so we get to have two Stormbringer my turns. Is too Ooh, that would have hit my hand. <laughs> that would have hit my hand a little bit. Alright, so next turn, assuming we have some board, we can go like this. Couple of these and then do that. I don't think we do it yet. It's just not enough. Uh... I don't want to save the one drops because they're so easy to play with this. I think we just throw away uh, an eel in his face, maybe. Warriors of the frozen wastes. Because even if he kills everything, we can go one, two, three, four. This curse has become our 
our greatest strength. We just play everything, right? <laughs> Do I turn this into a legendary? That's interesting. Because, like, it's, it might be better as just a 5 5 taunt later, right? We'll do this one last and buff this one, right? All right, so we play that one, that one, that one, one. I might as well totem instead of doing the uh, this thing, I think. All right, that's a nice selection. We got a crappy 3-2, but we got a nice death rattle guy and a nice can't be targeted. So... If he twistings, we get the Stormbringer back, and we have a Cairn left over. We're getting close to the Molten Giant kind of thing. Doom Pack! That's cheating. Do I save this? Next turn we can go... We kind of need like another... Oh shit, we need like... We need like more spammy stuff. If I get another Murloc, we can kind of get off of that. Whatever, fuck this guy. Make him have twisting or something. This is risky. I went all in there. Oh, he's like giving me Wrath... This is a Wrath Guard combo? Uh-oh, what is going on here? Shields up. What the hell is what is this? The end is coming. Okay. Seems like he just dies though, right? Because I just like. Oh, but this, but this, that's not a real wrath guard, right? Wait, can I do this? Hold on. I need six. I need thirteen damage. I have eight. I do have thirteen damage, but is it gonna work? All right. So if we put this here. Put this here. We're one off. Oh no. I wonder. We could get like King Crush and stuff, so that's not out of the question. If I trade that. Yeah, I can I have to trade this away though, unfortunately. Ooh, okay. I don't have a dragon, but White Eyes is sweet. I'm almost out of cards, by the way. That guy's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> He's going for the dream that I have a dragon somehow. Oh, we gave him Shadow Flame? Fuck. No Shadow Flame. I didn't have Lethal. I had one off again. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, we could just keep, uh, this is, this we're going to keep for Flame Waker, right? This is our way to kill Flame Waker. Tempting to keep this whole hand. This gets the Stormbringer and this gets it back. That's the strategy we have. We have turned our curse into our strength. It doesn't matter what board I have when I play this. It could be a bunch of totems, right? It doesn't really matter. That's a decent draw considering what we're doing, right? Not a great card against Flame Waker, whatever. Ideally, we coin out the spell and then play that the following turn, which we would get the coin back, which is kind of amazing. Um, I don't really want to play more things that die to Flame Waker, but... Next turn, we're probably going to have to Hex Flame Waker. And then, uh, turn five. That, that, that means I lose my coin play, right? Shit. Someday I'll be just like you. I don't mind this, because he's blowing his load, right? He's blowing his Flame Waker load, so to speak. I kind of have to do that, because of... Flame Waker drawing his whole hand with Cyclone. The fire Lord. My hand is too 
We can devolve the next one, I guess. These are kind of funny. They make CGI better, technically. I serve the Fire Lord. Wait, why is that gifted? Ooh, that was really good. Alright, he's got more. CGC giant, by the way. I almost play Sea Giant and Evolve. Oh, we can. So we can go, we can go Totem, Sea Giant. Might as well do this first, right? AC gets like Millhouse or something. Uh, okay. Is that good for me? The funny thing is, Sea Giant's kind of bad because of all these taunts. It is big. It is big. It's gonna get cheaper. I should I should wait on that. Actually. He's almost board locked. He's pinging his guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. Like, how does he win now? He's not playing the quest. He could have arcane giant. That could be annoying because he's got four taunts. But uh, all right. Do we do this? Do we do this now? We can play two guys. I don't want to, I don't want to make that, um, shit. Well, I might as well coin to get, cause I'm going to get it back with that. I just have nothing to play it on. Oh, I can kill this and coin the sea giant. That works. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got Illidan. All right, we got Illidan. Not bad, not bad. All right, looks like we got him, right? Don't think we lose this game. Kind of hope he somehow has Flame Striker Blizzard. That way we can uh, get this, do this again, right? How do we do? We got a good one, a good one, a decent one, mm. a eh, pretty bad one, pretty average. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Because it's like, it's kind of bad, but at the same time it hits for six, so can't complain too much. Sea Giant definitely better than the ad average legendary, I think. I did need to get unboard locked, so I'm glad. I'm glad he. Uh, I'm glad he did that. Looks like a cyclone turn, right? No cyclone, really? Okay. Well. Oh, he is playing the quest. Okay, well, we can lose now to Arcane Giants if we're not careful. Hmm. Uh oh, I'm getting kind of nervous, guys. Deep breeze. Nope. We're gonna devolve portal and hope. Uh, Kill some stuff now. That now, one issue with one issue with devolve is it doesn't work on these. Am I dead? Am I gonna lose here? All right, we're not board locked because we can throw this these two into here. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Time. Who shall be next to taste my blades? Disqualified. Uh, I think I should have made a taunt. I forgot this was going to give me a guy. I guess the portal would have gave me a guy too. Well, if he Nova's, I mean, we can always re-roll our legendaries and try to get like taunts and stuff. If worst case scenario, 
So what's the worst that's gonna happen? Basically, we could die easily because he can time warp and play a giant. That's a good sign. He's just gonna. Now, if he Nova's on the second um, turn, that is maybe our end. The end of us here. We have to roll legendaries. Mage is such a cheater, man. Like, don't get to play the game. Freezing all my stuff. It's my own fault for not making a... T oh, he's trading. Really? That's really good if he's trading. It means we're not going to, like, just die. If he's targeting something, that's good, too. Because that means he doesn't have the actual Nova. What to do? Right? It might have me <laughs> Meteor. Do I want these two ones? I don't even think I want these two ones. A quick snack. So I can freeze his guy or make a taunt. I think we freeze it. That's a, I don't think he has that silence though. What could he get here? Nova, basically Nova, right? Nova kills me with the reroll. Ice block would be fine. I don't care about that, really. I mean, I do care. I don't want him to have ice block, but I mean, at this point, this is awkward. I feel like he hasn't even played Nova yet, so this is not good because he for sure is running it, right? For sure, right? Is it somehow lethal? It might be with this, right? We throw this into like that. Play this. 10, 20, 24, plus 6. Yeah, it's definitely lethal. If it's counterspell, I want to um have a taunt, right? I guess. Well, both, both is good. Both is our, both is our savior here. We do not die with both out. <laughs> All right, that's why we're playing this deck. Shows the power of Ray of Frost, by the way. If you can kind of get basically a Nova effect without running Nova in the Ray of Frost, right? Because it felt like we were we were frozen multiple turns in a row. We were, but not really, right? Halfway frozen. Raw versus Lazul. I foresaw this encounter. All right, Hex is good. Four barns. Sneaky devil, not gonna hide well enough against priest. Dies to horror, it dies to excavated evil, which I haven't seen anybody run lately. The ones they seem to run are Shadowward Horror, Mass Hysteria, and uh, Psychic Scream. Those tend to be the ones that they have, even though they have access to Light Bomb, Dragonfire Potion, Excavated Evil, etc., etc. We have turned our curse into our strength. The only thing I don't like about this is it dies to Spirit Lash, um, which is sucky. I guess he doesn't heal later with it, right? Oh, 
So he's gonna coin horror me or coin barns us. Either one, not good. We're hoping he just coins out Vargoth, that we just hex Vargoth and then go on our way. The Sneaky Devil is currently uh, pretty good, right? It's gonna... We kind of checked for horror there. Like, how did he not horror us if he had it? So... Should be fine. Looks like he's coining out a 5-5 five five and then we hex and then it's like almost over. Oh, Hysteria. Okay, well, fuck. That's no boy now. Kinda needed that to die. <laughs> Kinda needed that to die quicker. That was a good draw. We're the one cheating out legendaries in a minute here, right? We can try to get a tiny fin. Free of that blasted tower! Behold! Gotcha! Alright, so next turn we have a choice. Do we hero power, get four legendaries possibly, or do we be greedy, try to get more uh, tiny fins? Also, if we get Tiny Fin, we can kind of go off with this, right? Is that worth it? I guess? You could save that for this, right? Uh, kind of weird because I get an extra Murloc by playing this. I guess we play it. Devolve for the win? We have to avoid... Last time I devolved one of these, the guy got the 214 thing. So let's not have that happen one time. Alright, do we win? I don't think we win. We have a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So... But I could play the Sneaky Devil. If I play the Sneaky Devil, we don't do this. So... Is it Sneaky, is it sneaky Devil lethal? So we, we kill that. This does 6, 8, uh, 9, 10. Is it exact? It might be exact. One more time. 6, 8, 9, 10. Looks like it's exact. Damn. Oh well, rip. <laughs> oh man. Wow, you've made it to the end of an extended gameplay video. If you really do like the deck, make sure to check the link below to join in on any of the Hearthpwn discussion. I will see you guys next time.